My boat has sustained 100% damage. I can't reach the tutorial location that it wants me to go to. It doesn't look like we're going to sink, which is again a bit of a shame. At least the waves are a little bit more uh, something and something, but where's all the horizon gone? Where's the sky gone? It's all gone just black. I think we were deep in the water then, weren't we? We chucked around quite a bit. Yeah, look at that. We went underwater. Oh, oh. Let's do our little trick, shall we? Let's uh, call for rescue. Oh, no, we don't need rescuing. Thank you. Oh, it didn't work today. It didn't work. Oh, you have to do it that way. <laughs> so it does work. There is that bug still. That's quite a big bug not to see, isn't it? Right, 17,000. Let's go to the dock. Let's go to the shipyard. Let's buy ourselves a legend. So it immediately swaps our boat over. So now if I go to the dock, go to the shipyard and look at owned, then I can activate or sell my old boat. So that's pretty cool. Maybe you could sell boats in the first one. I, I really can't remember. It's been a long time since I played it, to be honest. But rig for deep line fishing. We've got just enough for that. And we should set, like I say, we should have a bunch of deep line. See, it, we've got none. And we should, we should have eight. So we've got ten deep lines now. We don't have autopilot. Storage, uh, 40,000. We can't afford it. We can go to storage two. That leaves us with 2,000 in the bank, so I think we're going to have to... Oh, I like the way that this is stacked up like that. That's cool. I think we're going to have to borrow some money to hire a crew member so that we can um, haul these lines back in. So I'm going to come around here. We're going to do some fishing here. Well, this looks pretty nice. You can see we got the upgraded binoculars, which, if I use them, are still there. I knew that would be the case. I just knew it wouldn't work. Let's have a little look around the boat. How do I get down here? Again, I really want to... I oh, see, this is nice. It would be even nicer, though, if I could sit down. This is a nice boat, actually. Oh, you can skip time. You can anchor by clicking on the clock. Okay. Big flat screen TV there. All the mod cons. This is actually a very nice boat. So if I pick my phone up, it immediately takes me upstairs again. I feel like the boat is leaning the wrong way when I steer, but my... For some reason, my brain cannot decide whether it is or isn't. I'm struggling with that. So if we look at the map, we can see that it's it's fairly deep. Say 100, 150 metres. Something like that. Which is not too bad. Paid all that money for upgraded lines. And uh, it's just not given them to us. I guess arguably you shouldn't be down here if the boat is traveling along and there's no one steering the boat that's probably not the correct way to do things right two to go and then we can go home and have a coffee this fishing malarkey is easy isn't it i might just buy a fishing boat myself and go and do this if it's as easy as all this yeah this game's this game uh, i think would benefit hugely from having multiplayer even though i feel like it's i mean to be honest with you even though it's a very arcadey game and it's it's not what i was hoping for i still think it would really benefit from having multiplayer i'm pretty sure that um the arcade players the console players would really quite like to join their friends and do a bit of fishing nothing too complicated just just a chill out game not the simulator i was hoping for but i mean as a game it's perfectly fine if you are looking for a chill out gaming experience, this is this is the one. This is great. Is it better than Fishing Barrett Sea? Graphically, no, but the sea is better. But then also the sea doesn't look right in some circumstances. So yeah, I think overall it's slightly I think overall it's more I mean, in some areas it's better. Overall I think they're about the same. They're just different. Depends what experience you want. Okay, not forgetting that whilst you're controlling the uh, searchlight, you can't steer the boat. So just remember that, so you don't crash into shore. We're, we're in pretty shallow water here. So if I had a second crew member, I wouldn't need to do anything. I could just drive alongside and they would do the whole lot. Oh, crap. 
took my eyes off what I was doing there for a second. But it might just be that there's not enough of a catch to trigger the system. Oh, it's a bit further back on this boat. That's okay. Worth remembering though. Pretty simple stuff. Not a bad catch, that's like a medium quality of catch. Damn it, I could have sworn that was a perfect, but whatever. So, last one. We actually got quite a bit less for that one. That was a two perfects and a good, and we only got 774. But there is a bit of variation then. Not quite enough, but some. Alrighty, let's haul this last one in. Go back to port and see how much dosh this brings in. I'm thinking about probably about four, five hundred thousand, something like that. I do believe that our, his, um, see look, his, his animation is just, he's just doing the same thing again and again. I don't think that animation should trigger until we press the button, and then I think he's meant to help us haul the fish in. I think it just looks a bit silly what he's doing. I mean, he's hauling nothing in, isn't he? Over and over again. Yeah, there's still no fish on your, there's no... There's no point putting the effort in, mate, and trying to make it look like it's heavy. There's nothing on your hook. Yes, I'd like to sell the fish on board. 242,000. Is that all? That's pretty crappy. Perhaps because the price is down. Yeah. Oh, that's why. I'm not even paying any attention to this, but the prices are really low. So, okay, here's a question. Because... Um, so I'm not going to sell my fish. I'm going to wait for one day. And then I'm going to look at the fish prices and they're still crap. So I'm going to wait for another day. Now in fishing barren sea, your fish would go off if you didn't get them back to port in time or if, if you didn't have um, bridges and freezers on board. See that the price is still kept terrible. None of my fish appear to be going out of date, so it's up to 260,000 now. Um, skip another day. It seems to be going up a little bit each day, but I get the impression that it's very much... What? 7,900. So my fish are going off. Final sale revenue depends on the gutting quality of individual fish. But we haven't done any gutting. So is that something that we can do? I did see a knife in here somewhere. Because previously that wasn't... Yeah, look, we can't gut the fish. So I get the impression then that our fish are going out of date, but there's nothing telling us that they're going out of date. See, that's 7,900. So let's wait another week and see if they've all gone out of date. So the prices haven't changed at all, but our, our ability to sell has gone right down. So this isn't changing very much at all. Skip another week. Skip two weeks, skip three weeks, skip four weeks. Now the prices are right down. So I'm not sure, I think it's just random, I don't know. I don't see what that would be uh, based on. Sell fish for nothing at all. That's a bit of a problem actually, because I've now just left this for 2,000 and I've got to rebate these hooks. So it's interesting that it takes him that long to prep the next thing. Oh, seriously, he's not going to do anything now. See, look, now he's not doing anything at all. I have to literally tell him to do it. What's the point in him, then? I can do it much quicker, much easier than myself. Look, it takes him 10, 15 seconds to, uh, to, to prep it, whereas it takes me that long. So what's the point of you, mate? Plus, you don't look anything like your picture. So the crew functionality is, I, I assume it's broken. I can't imagine this is what they planned it to be. So I'll, I'll just drive myself in, shall I? It's a bit risky coming into a port that you've never been to before. 
Yeah, look. It's really difficult to see. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is that a shadow or is that a rock? It's, 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 it's rock. Oh, crikey. If only my uh, searchlight works properly, huh? Oh, we just discovered Lockport. It's rather handy. Is there like a little entrance there? Is that... See, these lights are just not bright enough. The ones on the shore are fine. I can see where the buildings are, but I can't see these. And these ones are the most important. Have I got to pull it in, or are they going to do it? Oh, they do it themselves, look. So when there's two of them doing it, it seems like it works much better, but still this guy is missing the fish completely. And look how bad the graphics look there. That's awful. So unbelievably pixelated. Oh look, we've got four fish. Oh no, hang on, what are they doing now? What the hell are they doing? They're pulling nothing in. But they don't stop on their own accord. They'll just keep going. And I can't move. The quick release... Okay, he's just levelled up, even though he's not doing anything. The quick release system uh, for the crew doesn't seem to be working either. I'm absolutely stuck. I can't seem to stop them. Look at that. We've got zero fish on board. Well, that's just... It's completely broken. I can't do anything. Can't save whilst hauling. Well, that's me completely screwed then, isn't it? Yeah, I can't do anything. I can move this guy, but these two are locked. Ah, oh, man. Does it auto-save every time I go to port or something? I hope it does. Otherwise, we're going to go all the way back to where I have no boat. And why, when the crew are not working, are they not sat in here? Where do they go to? Where, where do they disappear to? Oh, look at that. Number four has just gone off. It was red two seconds ago. We'll back up and we'll get that one. That give a chance for number eight to go. Number eight's just gone. Number nine is about to go. So how long have they been in the water then? 17 hours. So that seems to be the sweet spot. It's about 17 hours then. Yeah, pretty disappointing haul, this one. I've no doubt if we were fishing in an area that had the fish we were looking for, we'd be getting much, much bigger fish. But, um, you know, this is, you got to understand that I'm not trying to play the game to play the game. I'm trying to play the game to discover how the game works, to understand the mechanics, so that I can give you an honest review of the game and how it works, with a, a clear understanding of its pros and cons, or at least as I understand them. It's important to do these experiments, even if it means I don't make any money off the back of it. I mean, we'll definitely make money. So far, it seems... 95% of the time you'll definitely get a catch of some sort and only on the very 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 rare occasion do you catch nothing at all and if you just go to the pub and pay a thousand dollars somebody will tell you where the fish are but these are quite measly catches these ones this is not a good area I just noticed that the winch itself isn't doing anything either is it the fish are being hauled up, but the winch itself is not animated in any way, shape or form. That was a pretty good haul for just two fish. That was pretty appalling. What did we get in the end? 6,300. That's not going to be much money. About four, 4,000, something like that. How are we doing for fuel? Yeah, we got plenty of fuel. Okay, we're going to go to a different port just to uh, experience it. Oh, wow, that's right at the edge of the map. Oh, there was something. Stop. 
Did you see that? I saw one of those uh, things before. Uh, see, I can't see it now. Question mark thing, whatever was there has, has now vanished. It's like it's dropped two boats in the water. Um, oh man, I missed it. Whatever it was. La Havre discovered. What does that bloody mean? I've discovered La Havre? Is that a good fishing location or something? What What is it? What is La Havre? Visually, that's quite pleasant. And I think you've got... Um, what do they call it? Yeah. Aurora Borealis going on there a little bit. Just a smidgerunio of it. Which is nice. Quite pleasant. Bit of B-roll. Maybe a photograph there. So we've discovered a rock or something, which we can't see because it's night time, but uh, I think these, I get the impression these are either unlocking boats, because there's supposed to be 25 boats in the game, but either they're unlocking boats or they're good areas to fish. But at least we've got some money in the bank now, so let's just have a look, see what we can do for rigging. Again... In terms of rigging, we've only got the two options. Go to the shipyard. Ah, so maybe each shipyard has a certain number of ships. And only a certain number of ships. That would be interesting. No second-hand ships, I notice. The whole maintenance thing is still very minimal. It barely exists at all. Damage modelling is, is non-existent. Okay, so how much is this going to cost me? 6.4 million so we need to be catching much better fish with the boat we've got then of course we've got the Atlantic catcher that's a net hauler so okay there's there's definitely more there's definitely more hours of gameplay available if you're gonna start unlocking these boats and stuff but the weather's pretty good on Saturday, it'll be 17.3 knots of wind, which is possibly the worst weather we've seen. So let's go to Saturday. So today, October the 3rd, should be 17.3% 17 uh, 17.3 mile an hour winds, which is fine. Uh, so if we go to the fish market, fish gear, bait my deep lines. It would be really helpful if in this screen they showed you whether the prices were high or low you look swordfish and tuna are still 26 and 27 dollars per kilogram which is presumably makes it the most profitable even though the prices are so bad i'm not sure if we're adding an additional 5,000 kilograms or, or what i'm not sure how that's working but anyway the storage engine let's boost the engine 40,000 for a better engine for 10,000, let's have the best searchlight we can. So we've done the searchlight, the buoy, the fish sonar, the fish quota, the autopilot, the radar, the engine, the storage. I think we've done all of that. And we haven't got autopilot, but to be honest with you, I don't think it's that useful. Now that I've used it a bit, it's not that useful. The rigging is already set up. Maintenance upgrade. Let's go to town. Bar missions. Port delivery. Help deliver cargo, cargo to another port. But which port? Why don't you tell me where? That's annoying as hell. For ten thousand dollars, I mean, what is the point in that? It will boost port, um, port. What do they call it? Like you'll get better prices on stuff. Got some deeper water over here. A bit more redfish. Again, the audio is. I turn my head a little bit, and the audio shuts off one of my earphones. That's not pleasant. It's not realistic either. There's a couple of fishy boats out there. If they, if the AI are supposedly fishing, then perhaps they've discovered some fish. Okay, so because we've upgraded our fish finder, we can see much further distance, I guess. Or is that just depth? I think it's distance, isn't it? You see, we've got some crabs down here. I mean, that to me, that's. That's exactly um, what I don't want to see is, you know, here's an indication of where the... I'm not sure if I could do it. It's tricky. You see the red there? Because there's crabs. 
So it's an indication of where the crabs are on the radar itself. Okay. We're going to slow it down. We're going to start ditching fish here, uh, bait boxes here, I think. Seems about the right space. There are some fish in the vicinity, so it seems like a good idea. That's it. All done. All in. We're in a good spot, look. There's loads of fishy wishies here. Are you not going to give me this discovery then? We're right on it. The German bank discovered. So are these things that are unlocking around... Do you know what I mean? Is that a second bank that we can access now? I don't know. <laughs> really confusing. Certainly the easiest way to... There you go. We've discovered the Cape Furlock Lighthouse. You can see the Aurora Boralis there. Doing its utmost to be gorgeous and amazing. Oh wow, I can't move it. You found Borg! The boat is now available in the something or other or other or other. So wow, that's that's what the radar does for you. It it boosts your um ability to scan because I mean, I'm quite far away from where that was but we've just discovered that oh fast travel to Yarmouth well that's a hell of a lot easier than putting these stupid routes in we've unlocked the Borger the Borg as um, the first boat that you got in Barent Sea there we go they've just started going blue absolutely perfect timing and it is nice and dark out here again so some of these lines are still red, you'll notice. So what I might do is just dock for a bit. Give it two hours. You can see now they're all blue. Oh, have I missed one? So we've just got the achievement 100 swordfish and it says we've got 90 out of 100. That's a strange achievement. You've got 10 less than the uh, required amount in order to uh, receive this award, so here you are. I'm finding that if you aim slightly above the perfect circle, you're more likely to get it. We're doing pretty good, we've got nearly 7,000 kilos on board and uh, three more to pull in. So we could get close to maximum capacity. I don't think we're going to hit it. I certainly don't think we're going to exceed it. But we'll be close. Close enough. Fish on board, sell them. 280,000. That's not great money, but you can see the price of stuff is quite low. There's the backstabber. That's the one we had before. The Lenore is like an in-betweeny little boat. The Coastern. Coastern is a crab boat based on the well-known crab uh, boat called Northwestern and is rigged for snow crabbing. Snow crab fishing, rather. And then we've got the Dexter. The Dexter. Okay, so to get a couple of million in is going to be really difficult. Especially seeing as I'm... This is an old rusty boat with sluggish controls, yeah, but we love it. And all you can do is long line on this, I think. Rigged for line net, deep line and lobster fishing. So this one could do lobster fishing. Maybe I should grab one of these and then we could do some lobster fishing for a bit of a change because, you know, we've been doing harpoon and deep line fishing for a while and we've got a bigger boat, which means we can get more fish on board. But we've got quotas down here as well. But the, the bigger boat that we've got at the moment is not really being used to its full potential because the price of swordfish and tuna is so low at the moment so we're not really making any decent cash so maybe we can grab some lobster fishing instead let's do that congratulations on purchasing your first long line vessel check the wiki if you need help using the long line tools Lenore supports lobster deep line and net fishing you can purchase these at port Lenore also supports up to two crew members who can assist you with tasks on the boat find someone to hire at the bars of the various ports 
So there's a tutorial for the longline fishing. Um, and we know how to do longline fishing, but should we say yes anyway? Just to experience it. So go to the fish market and select fishing gear. Buy long lines. Unbaited 2000 hook. So that was expensive. Crap. That really was expensive. I spent a lot of money on that. And I didn't even buy the right hook type. So I was supposed to buy one of these. Uh, you know the problem. I've bought 12 2000 hooks. Now I can't buy 250 hooks because we've got no space left. I'm going to have to sell one in order to go back in and buy one. That's not frustrating at all. Select bait long lines and bait them. Okay, bait long lines. So we've got more stuff to bait them with now. I've got to ask the question, is it necessary to have these icons so bloody big? Couldn't we make them smaller so that I don't have to scroll down to do this? Drive away from the docking area. Again, you shouldn't be able to see. The water here, I'm sure, is very clear, but I don't think it's that clear. And that still looks like smoke. And it's coming from the wrong part of the boat, unless it is smoke. Maybe that's the exhaust. You can open the map to see your marked area and follow the marker on top screen in third person mode. And also, uh, another thing I, I was hoping to see in this game that I asked for in the previous game was the ability to run all your boats. So why can't I hire a captain and send my other boats out? Seriously? I'm trying not to speed at the moment. Why can't I hire an AI captain and send him out to fish for me? That kind of thing. Wow, it's very sensitive, that thing, isn't it? Wow. Harsh much. I was 0.4 knots over the speed limit. I wouldn't mind the port patrol being a thing if the rest of the game was a bit more realistic, but it isn't, so screw it. Five nautical miles in that direction. I wonder if we're going out to the deep, 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 deep sea. Because that definitely wants me to go seven nautical miles in this direction, and the map finishes there. So, 2.2 nautical miles in this direction. Okay. The rain looks terrible. You are leaving the safe area. Your boat will take damage if you advance further. You are entering shallow water. Oh, crikey. Things have changed. I'm not entering shallow water. What are you talking about, game? Okay, so the weather's actually turned a bit nasty on us. And we're not in the best boat for it. I'm not sure what's happened to the sky. It's just kind of all gone a bit black. And the game is screaming at us not to go any further. Because we're entering shallow water. But this is not shallow water. This is deep water. And our marker is 2.2 nautical miles in this direction. So... I don't know what to do. If you look at the map, we are off the map. We have left the map. We're over here somewhere. It's still saying two nautical miles in this direction. And we are getting closer to it. Your boat has sustained heavy damage. Look at this, 19, 18, 17% damage. But this is the tutorial that is taking me out here. One point eight nautical miles still to go. Your boat is out of fuel. So I did mention previously, I wondered if it felt like the map had grown in size when I upgraded my boat. So I wonder if that is the case, and the map shows, um, effectively shows the, just the distance that your boat can cope with. Now I'm 1.7 nautical miles away from my objective, but I'm locked into a tutorial now. So what do I do here? My boat has sustained 100% damage. I can't reach the tutorial location that it wants me to go to. It doesn't look like we're going to sink, which is again a bit of a shame. At least the waves are a little bit more uh, 
something and something, but where's all the horizon gone? Where's the sky gone? It's all gone just black. I think we were deep in the water then, weren't we? we chucked around quite a bit. Yeah, look at that. We went underwater. Oh, oh. Your boat is destroyed, so you need to pay 8,000 to be towed back to the nearest port. I don't think I have 8,000. Rescue service. You have been towed back to port and returned to your starter boat. If you have any other boats, you can switch to them. You'll have to buy again. Unfortunately, you don't have any insurance for your boat, but you are able to sell the scraps for nothing of the original price. For the towing, zero has been deducted from your balance. This game's so buggy right now. So, yeah, look at the waves now. And this is at the shore. So what's the weather like today? It's only seven knots of wind. Why is it so flipping windy then? And now it's all gone back to normal. Okay, that's, I think... I think it's just... It's not polished. It's not ready for, for release. It really isn't. Too many weird things going on. Okay, so that tutorial went well, didn't it? That's all my money gone. Just out of interest. What's happened to all my stuff? I can't get to the shipyard. What is going on? What's happened to my boats? Oh man, what is going on here? Let's save this all the way down in slot 10. It's all gone very odd. We'll come back to this later. Thanks for watching guys, take care. Good